Hi, I'm Garrett Volkus with Last Breath TV. On this episode of Image Autopsy, we're gonna take a look at a five and a half year old whitetail called Tonto. This is a buck that we hunted from four to five. By using trail cameras to pattern this deer, we were able to write a final chapter to his story. The farm we hunted was 110 acres and was about 50% ag, 50% timber. We would typically run eight to 10 cameras year round to pattern the deer that frequented this farm. Tano was a deer we recognized as a three-year-old, and we really didn't start hunting him until he was a four-year-old. But as a five-year-old, he is now a dominant buck on the farm, and having a ton of pictures of him on scrapes and travel corridors, and in late season, we were able to put a pattern together for him on the year that we harvested him. For those of you that don't hunt in Illinois, our firearm season falls right in the middle of November, typically between the 15th and the 23rd, depending on the days. Needless to say, many deer are harvested within this time slot. And after that firearm season had came and went, we stopped getting images of Tonto and we were about ready to ride him off as he may have been harvested by a neighbor or another hunter. After a long absence, we finally got a picture of him the day before second firearm season. We got a notification on our Moultrie Mobile that he was coming into a field on one of our destination areas. This gave us important information to know, A, he was still alive and he's still out there to hunt, and B, reassurance that we should hunt that farm. Had we not gotten that picture, had we not gotten that notification from our Moultrie Mobile, we probably would have been on either a different farm or in a different location, not hunting Tonto. The lesson learned here is that trail cameras can be extremely reassuring. Knowing or understanding that a deer is still out there to be hunted, to be harvested, is important information. That can determine where you hunt, what farm you hunt, what location on the farm to hunt. And ultimately, allowed us to be in position to have an opportunity to harvest Tonto. I'm seeing a lot of deer, seeing a lot of our good deer. One of them, in fact, which is Pretty Boy, and I'm filming him, he's a beautiful four-year-old, we know he's gonna blow up. And I just pick my head up out of the camera to scan the field, and here comes Tonto from the other way, on a line to the does. Tonto just came in the field. You bet. Tonto just came in the field. Him. He's the guy. I got him. Where is he? 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 There he is. There he is. Look at him pouring blood. No. Oh, I, yeah. Heart shot him. Definitely 100%. Dude, yeah. Yep. It, I mean, I filmed him for a while, but I was like, I can't. I can't hold on to this any longer, dude. 126 yards. Oh man, dude, I can't, I mean, it happened so early. So Tano is down and this blood is ridiculous. 126 yard shot from the blind and he didn't go 50 yards. He is over there, right over there. So I'm gonna do my best to film this, but this blood is insane. So this is a point of impact. I mean, this is almost like a blood trail from a heart shot bow deer. And this is just the whole way. Oh, here he is. It was him, Johnsonville, and then Lucky, which Grant was able to harvest in early October that were really the three hit listers on our farm. And this guy was uh, becoming the top of the list after getting more footage, seeing him in person, almost killing him with a bow. Um, this was really the, the, the cherry deer at the farm. He's probably 19 to 20 inches wide. He's got some great character with the split over here. He's got a little cheater point over here. 
Um, just a, a great buck. You know, we're happy to be able to hunt a deer like this. I'm super pumped to be able to kill a deer like this. Um, bittersweet though today, um, considering that Grant wasn't there with me. But regardless, this is a great deer. I think it's a deer that most people would be super proud to kill. I am blessed to be able to wrap my tag around this guy. It's a perfect way to end the season. I'm bucked out, ready to sit behind Grant until he gets it done. And um, I don't know, this is a, it's been a pretty good year so far.